The day's arrived, ladies and gentlemen. The day's arrived. Since the end of last season when we qualified for the Europa League, this is the day that we've had our eyes on. Thanks for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. I am Gatesy. This is Falls from Iron. Welcome, welcome. Um, if you haven't already done so, please don't forget to drop a like on the stream. It helps the channel out tremendously. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to be notified of new content such as this. Now, this is a big day in the history of West Ham United, I think it's fair to say, because let's be honest about it. We've never, we've not really qualified for Europe that often in our history, but we did it at the end of last season. We obviously got into the, into the Europa League, what old farts like us remember it called the UEFA Cup. Way, way back, the, the precursor of this tournament was called the, the Intercities Fairs Cup. But I, I'm going into the dim and distant past here. But this is just to give you guys a little bit of uh, history on, on the tournament itself. Now, the defending champions are Villarreal. Villarreal defeated Manchester United on a penalty shootout last season. Both of these teams are now in the Champions League. Villarreal by virtue of winning the Europa League. Because let's not forget, and this is this is the dream, and it may be a dream that some people think is a bit fanciful, but, you know, it's, it's a possibility that, you know, whisper it, whisper it, and I'm not saying it's going to happen, so please don't sort of send out the men in white coats. But we're in this tournament on merit. Now, if we don't believe that there's a possibility that we could win it, quite frankly, why bother turning up? That's my opinion. That's my opinion. Um, there's a chance we could win it. And if we win it, we're a Champions League team the following season. Now, I'm not, like I say, I'm, I repeat, I'm not saying we're going to be a Champions League se team next season. I'm not that deluded. I'm a West Ham fan for many, many years, and I've seen us trip up. So I do look at the final, which I, I think is in Seville, if I remember correctly. Um, I do look at the final and think, well, you know, it's a long way away. There's a lot got to be a lot of obstacles in the way, but we're in it. We're in the tournament. Why shouldn't we dream of winning it? Give me a reason. I'm going to have a look in the live chat now. I've done my little spiel. Milesy, you provocative person. Those of you that are watching that watched the stream yesterday will know that we started off usual forge from iron shenanigans. You know, we start off with the best of intentions. We start talking about a subject and then something crops up where we go off on a tangent. Um, I think yesterday the, the, the stream was obviously a bit about the, the imminent signing of Kurt Zuma. It's, it's pretty much done. The medical has been completed. It's now, from what I understand that X has put out there, um, it's now just a question of the doctors in London that David Sullivan wants to run the rule over the results, giving their thumbs up. And then basically he, he's a West Ham player. I, I, from what I've been led to believe, the, the fee has been agreed with Chelsea. The personal terms have been agreed with the player. The medical has been done in France, but it's now just a question of David Moyes' doctors, but David Moyes, David Sullivan's doctors, Freudian slip, um, giving the thumbs up. Because obviously if this is going to be the sort of purchase that, you know, it, it's going to be, you know, sort of like 25, 26 million and he's going to become our top earner. Then I think that it's fair to say that Mr. Sullivan wants to get value for money. And as I speak, I'm joined by West Ham Online. How are you? Very well. How are you? Well, in answer to Andy Miles's question, what have I had for breakfast? This is it so far. I'm so excited for this draw. I can't wait for this draw. Me neither, mate. I mean, as I was saying earlier, it's not something that we're used to. Sort of like how how often do we actually get involved in watching a European competition draw? Mm -hmm. it, it's not something we're particularly minded to sort of bother about. But here we are. And I think uh, all the, out of all the competitions we're in, this one's the one we have the best chance of winning because obviously in the... Carabao and the FA, you've still got Man City, Liverpool, etc. Mm. Whereas in this one, Leicester are actually the bookies' favourites. I don't know yeah. how much you read into that, but obviously we know we, we can beat Leicester. Um, and yeah. I look around at the other teams in the competition, I think Napoli's a team we can beat, and I'd say they're probably the second favourites. 
Um, well, it was like I was saying just a little earlier. I don't know how much you caught of it, but I I know that sort of like I if I, if I turn around if I turn around to, and say, you know, we're going to win this tournament, then I I look a bit stupid. But if I turn around to you and say, there's no reason why we can't win this tournament. It will be tough. It will be a long and hard road, but we could win yeah. it. There's a possibility we can win it. And to be honest with you. If if we're not going to go into a tournament or anything that we set our minds to, individually, you or me or West Ham United or any organisation, if you're not going to go into it with the sole intention of doing your level best and, and achieving the best possible outcome, quite frankly, what's the point of you being there? Yeah, yeah, true, true. I think the only thing in this is... Um... Obviously, there's teams that drop down from the Champions League as well. So I've just yep. paused BT Sport here that has all the groups. And I don't know if you want me to run through who I think will Please drop do. down in each group. So Group A is Man City, PSG and RB Leipzig in Club Bruges. So you'd assume mm. uh, Leipzig would drop down, which tough. which would be tough. Um, even worse if PSG or Man City somehow find a way to finish third. But Yep. Um, group B is another tough group. Atletico Madrid, Liverpool, Porto and Milan. You'd expect it to be Porto or AC Milan, but you never know. It could be Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah, it could be any, any of them, to be quite honest, if, you know, if, if things go completely wrong. Oh, and bang on cue. His Poundland internet, ladies and gentlemen. His Poundland internet is what he suffers with. You guys in the live chat, I know there's more of you than than Andy Miles sitting there. Um, what do you think are our realistic a ambitions? I mean, like I say, my my ambition, rightly or wrongly, is to win it. That's my ambition. You know, I'm just of the mindset that that should that should be our ambition. Now, would I be happy if we made? the quarterfinals and went out, say, on a penalty shoot out to one of the heavier hitters of European football. Well, I wouldn't be happy that we've gone out, but sort of taking a step back, I'd sort of turn around and say, yeah, that's that's probably not bad in the grand scheme of things. And especially if we aligned it to a, a decent run in the Premier League, say a top eight finish, then, you know, once the emotion had settled down, then I could sort of step back and go, OK, actually, that that wasn't so bad. But right here, right now, my ambition, and I make no apologies for it, is to win the damn, damn thing. Why not? Why not? I mean, you're in the live chat. You've got a keyboard in front of you. Tell me, am I mad? Am I deluded? Or have I got a point? If we're in this tournament and we've earned, we've earned the right to be in this tournament, we've not fluked it. It's not like we won like we did... Um, under Sam Allardyce, where we got into a European competition because nobody got a booking or something stupid like that. The 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 um, what did they call it? The the Fair Play League or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, and and that was a little bit like, okay, great, we're in a European tournament, but it's not like we've actually earned it by our league position or by winning a cup or anything like that. For Christ's sake! So it was a little bit hollow. Um, we've actually got into this tournament by virtue of our performance over 38 Premier League games. And let's not forget, we were, what, two, three points more and we would have been a, a Champions League team. So please don't tell me that we shouldn't be going into this tournament with some sort of ambition, some sort of, um, you know, aim of actually carrying this trophy away with us. Why not? Why not? We've got a contributor from the live chat. Chris, glad to have you aboard, my friend. Um, Chris says, if we can get out of the group stage, it's a knockout competition and anything can happen. Remind me of Fulham in 09. Bang on. Bang on, Chris. I mean, you know, people turn around and, and sort of say, you know, um, that, you know, it, it's, it's the draw that is really the key thing you know if you've got an element of luck i mean i saw um a little earlier i'm just going to try and find it on my phone so do excuse me while i have a little tinker um there was something on the phone that ha on my phone that had all of the the teams in all of the different pots and all of the coefficients and, and all the rest of it 
Um, here we go. Right. So in pot one, we've got Leon, Napoli, Bayer Leverkusen, Dinamo Zagreb, Lazio, Olympiacos, AS Monaco and Braga. Now, out of those, the team with the lowest coefficient, so i.e. the lowest ranked team, if you will, is Braga. So I'd like to get Braga from pot one, to be quite honest with you. I make no apologies for that. Pot Similarly with pot two. Hang on. He's just turned up. Um, I was just saying to the, to the viewers, uh, West Ham Online, I'm just going through the pots and the coefficients. And yeah. I'll make no apologies. I, you know, I want a favor as favorable a draw as we can get. I mean, initially I was like, oh, I'd like to get this team. I'd like, I'd like to get, um, you know, one of the glamour names at least. Blah blah blah. And then the more I thought about it, I thought, no, actually, yeah, I, get them I, later. I, I, uh, yeah, get them later when they they've sort of gone through their season a little bit and they're a little bit knackered out and maybe they've got injuries or this that, and the other. But just look at this, right? So pot one. <clears throat> Just to go through it again, Leon, Napoli, Bayer Leverkusen, Dinamo Zagreb, Lazio, Olympiacos, Monaco, and Braga. The lowest ranked of which, in terms of their European coefficient, is Braga. I'll take Braga from pot one, yeah, if that's all I the same would, yeah. to you. Um, then we move to pot two. Celtic, Eintracht Frankfurt, Red Star Belgrade, Leicester City, Rangers, Lokomotiv Moscow, Genk. PSV Eindhoven, the lowest ranked, which <clears throat> surprisingly, you know, for me, PSV Eindhoven, I, I'd have probably said Genk, but okay, if PSV Eindhoven are the lowest ranked, I'll take them. Thank yeah. you very much. And we're in pot three mm -hmm. um, with Olympic Marseille, Ludogrets. We're the third ranked team in terms of coefficient in pot three. Then it's Real Sociedad. That surprised me, Real Sociedad, yeah, that's, and that's Real Betis are below us. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. That's the thing because I'd actually consider us and Marseille to be one of the favourites. Hmm. Um, certainly, I th is it Leon that's top? Well, I'm surprised Ludogrets are above us. I've got to say, it's it's, it's yeah. Leon, uh, Marseille, Marseille are the top seed in our pot. Yeah, it's based um, but on Leon are the lot. top seed overall. Yeah, see, that's the thing. See, it's based on how much you've been in Europe mm. um, previously for quite a lot of it. And Leon are actually terrible at the mm. moment. And that they had some fight on the weekend. Um, I think they were three new up in the game and bottled it. I don't know what's happening to them, but I was reading your experts' thoughts on them, and apparently they're just in disarray. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, so pot free Marseille, Ludogorets, us, Real Sociedad, Real Betis, Fenerbahce, Spartak Moscow, and Sparta Prague, mm -hmm. and then in pot four, Rapid Vienna. Galatasaray, Legia Warsaw, who put out Slavia Prague last night, um, Meechland, Ferenc Varos, Royal Antwerp, Sturm Graz, and Bronby. I'll take Bronby. Thank you. So, I'd so like I'd like a group. I'll 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 put it out there now, right now, and I, I'll make no apologies for for taking this the path of least resistance. But I'll go for a group of Braga, PSV Eindhoven, and Bronby. Thank yeah, you very much. PSV is a good trip, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, nice, nice little trip to Holland. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, Slavia Prague. Did you re did you say they're not in? They it got or? they got beat by Legia Warsaw yesterday. They lost four three in aggregate. So they're not even in the competition. They're in the Conference League. Oh my god! They dropped into the Conference League now, which actually brings me quite neatly to my next little conversation piece and again you guys in the live chat please feel free to get involved um does that now mean that there's a, a slight possibility that abdullah Seema becomes maybe a little bit more of a viable target what, what do you think at the start of the window i didn't actually want him because I, I thought we needed a new number one striker but the more i look into it and the more you look at antonio's stats 22 goals and like eight assists in his last 30 something games is ridiculous to be honest mm. i think Simmer would be brilliant obviously he can play on the wing as well yeah. um and then he can learn off antonio as well as developing his game by getting games in the cups um you know learning against uh learning in the premier league watching the premier league playing in the europa league so i think with slavia being 
in the Conference League, I think he, he's an option we should really go for now. And I'm not sure the mm. club will. I've not heard a lot about it, uh, to be honest, since probably about two months ago. But I really hope we do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to get up for the people watching at home. Right. OK, so this, just to show you guys, this is this is who's involved in the draw from top to bottom. Uh, you've got obviously teams from England are us and Leicester. Two Sp teams from Spain, Real Sociedad, Real Betis. Two from Italy, Napoli and Lazio. Two from Germany, Eintracht Frankfurt and Bayer Leverkusen. You've got three from France, Lyon, Marseille and Monaco. Monaco who dropped out from the Champions League, I do believe. Um, Braga from Portugal. Pish Bayer and Oven from Netherlands. Scotland have got Celtic and Rangers, standard. So can we not get so what what are they? No, we, we we can we can get them. We can get them. Well, hang on. We can get hang on, because I think um, we can get Celtic because they are in pot two. Take that. Uh man. and we can well, we could get either one of them, but we couldn't get both of them because obviously you can't yeah, get yeah. two teams from the same country. Both of them occupy pot two. I want Celtic, they're absolutely crap, so <laughs> yeah, you say that, but we had a discussion the other night, um, didn't we? You know, um, Scottish teams have this horrible, horrible habit of raising their game when they've got an English team in front of them in a game that means something. And I go back, I remember Manchester United, who were in their pomp under Sir Alex Ferguson, rocking up at Celtic Park. And Shinsuke Nakamura stopping up with a free kick and getting a 1-0 victory. I also remember Liverpool rocking up there and getting turned over. I remember even further back, um, Leeds, who were the champions of England at the time, yep. got turned over by Rangers. Just they, they just seem to have this uncanny knack that in a game that means something, and they've got an English team in front of them, that they should get turned over by. They somehow managed to raise their game a couple of gears and get the job done. And that would be the thing that would concern me, West Ham Online, that we would be lulled into this false sense of security, if you will, that, oh, Celtic aren't very good. We played them in a pre-season friendly at their place. We turned them over, you know, 6-2. Um, they're going to be easy pickings. And I just think that that's, you know, pride comes before a fall. Yeah, I, d I do get what you're saying. I think that the atmosphere at Celtic Park, if we got them, uh, would be amazing. And I'm sure they'd step their game up. But mm. I can't help but feel that their defence is way too bad to even to even like step it up enough to beat us. I think their defence is just so, so bad. I think it's the worst Celtic defence you'll see for the next 20, 30 years. It's absolutely terrible. They're, the goalkeeping as well is horrendous. I don't even... If you know that Joe Hart actually signed for them, yes, his mistake last night. I didn't go on. Oh, it was bad. Someone back passed it to him, and he was just waiting for the ball to get him, and he like get to him. So he was walking slowly towards it, and then he, he ended up kicking the air, and the guy tapped it past him and scored. Wow, what the hell's happened to him? I mean, since since the Euros in twenty sixteen, his career has just yeah. nosedived, and and I. I mean, what is he, 33 now? So it's not like he's sort of like he's elderly yeah, I, for a goalkeeper. I don't get he it. He should still have years yeah. ahead of him. Yeah, I, I can't work it out because I really can't work it out. Obviously, he had a confidence dip, but you would have mm. expected at some point for him to at least have a promising season these last six years or so. But he just hasn't. He's just been shocking in all of them, hasn't he, really? Well, he had a couple of games when he was on loan with us. I think I remember he he got a, a man of the match performance at Stamford Bridge, didn't he? Yeah, I think he had an, he had another good game. At, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, he if he was any good, he'd have been signed permanently, and he wasn't. So that kind of tells its own story. But you do you look at? I mean, I'm, I'm right in saying I think that he's got. If we take Peter Shilton out of the equation, who obviously got 125 caps. 
but he's got the most. I think he's got yeah. the next next most. Yeah. Or has he got joint with Gordon Banks? Or he's, he's I think he's got about seventy odd second. caps. Yeah, I yeah. Think he's I saw it the other day. So it's not like this is a guy that only earned sort of like about three caps for the national team, you know, and sort of like was was around the periphery of the squad the rest of the time. This is a guy that's got approaching eighty caps for the national team, and he's what thirty three. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It is worrying. Um, but yeah, as I say, I hope we do. I wouldn't mind if we get Celtic. Before we kick on, do you want me to finish the who I think will drop out the Champions League? Group? Please do. Obviously, I ran out of charge. Group A, as I said, I think it'll be Leipzig, and we both said we think that will be quite hard. Mm. Um, group B, Porto or AC Milan. <laughs> I mean, it, that's not that's not easy either, is it really? Mm. Um. Group C, you've got Sporting, Dortmund, Ajax and Besiktas. I expect it to be either Ajax or Sporting, who have gone downhill the last couple of years in terms of player quality, but it definitely won't be a turnover if we get either of them. But they tend to bring through like a raft of young, yeah. talented players. I mean, you look at Ajax. I mean, they got to the semi-finals, what, two seasons ago? Got turned out by Tottenham. Yeah, um, yeah they and and they've got like this clutch. They and and they've done it many many times. Ix, I mean, you know, you look at the teams of the seventies, you look at the team of, of the mid nineties, and then obviously fast forward to a couple of seasons ago, this this clutch of young, talented, homegrown players, and they'll do something. You know, relatively, they'll get to a European Champions League semi final, maybe sort of like win it, what, like they did in the mid nineties with. The likes of Cliver, Reisiger, Davids, Seydorf, Cl- you know, the, the, the names sort of yeah. like right on and on and on. No. Um, yeah, they've but got then some... they'll they'll sell them all off, and then it's like they got to start all over again. And they, there's that little period where they they have a bit of a sort of dip in in European competitions, don't they? Yeah, yeah, I don't get how they do it, but over the years they've produced some unbelievable players, like obviously Johan Cruyff as well. Mm. Um, and nowadays, they still have players. Oh, David Neres was highly talked about a few years ago. I, I don't think he's quite the player that he was. But they have another winger called Anthony, who's apparently got a lot of potential. Obviously, yeah. they've got Haller up front. And you know what I think about him. But mm. um, Tadic is a good player as well. So, they're not a bad team. Yeah. But, um, yeah. In Group D, we've got Inter Milan, Real Madrid, Shakhtar. And congratulations to Sharif. Yeah. Sharif, who I've never heard of, but they've made no. the Champions League. What an achievement that is for them. Well, I was um, down in Cornwall, as you know, week before last, and we was um, staying in a place where they had like a bar area, clubhouse, call it what you want, yeah. entertainment complex. And I was sitting there with my, my good lady and just having a rum and coke, and she was having a archers and lemonade, as you do get a bit of time away from the kids. They were back at the, the accommodation. The, the elder two are 18, in case anyone's sitting there thinking, you know, you know, how could you leave your children on on their yeah, own I mean, while you went out on the bis? It's like, no, the, you know, the eldest two are 18 and, and the, yeah. even the youngest one's not exactly, you know, sort of like she, she's nearly 14. So, you know, it's fine. Um, but um, I was I was sitting there and, and, and I, was watching, I was like, who the hell was this? FC Sheriff? And I think, if I remember rightly, they... they Turned over Dinamo Zagreb. Yeah, I'm sh- I'm sure that was who they beat. And I yeah. mean, I sort of think, well, I've heard of Dinamo Zagreb. I've never heard of this mob sheriff. Where the bloody hell are they from? Were they from Moldova or somewhere yeah, like that? Yeah, they were the first ever team from their country. I think it was Moldova, first ever yeah. Moldovan team to uh, reach Champions League. So yeah. that is brilliant for them. Um, but I do expect it to be Shakhtar, to be honest, who finishes third in their group. Yeah, and once again. Well, they're okay. They're not a bad team. Group E, Bayern Munich, Barcelona, <laughs> Benfica and Dinamo Kiev. I think it'll be Benfica, but with the state that Barcelona are in, I wouldn't rule it out for them to make their first appearance in the Europa League in a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mr Burford, how are you, sir? And we're also joined at the, roughly the same time. Duke, how are you, my friend? Very well, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, not bad. I'm just watching it on YouTube as we speak. Um, 
Oh, well, I've I'm got, going to be in front I've got of the you. volume obviously turned down, so I've got no idea what they're actually saying. So I'm just watching the picture. Can you I'm tell me when it starts? Because I'm, I'm watching sorry. it live downstairs in the um in the bar. Yeah. So, um, yeah. There's a there's a bloke on the left. There's a there's a lady on the right um, chatting I'll away. Watch, they're bringing the trophy out now. They're about to put the trophy I'll quickly on the, the front. So that's where I'm at. I don't know where far you are behind Gacy. Um, they're they're doing a little piece on um, Andres Palop, um, the goalkeeper for Sevilla. Oh, I'm well beyond that. I've literally just watched the guy put the uh, put the trophy on the on the plinth at the front. So yeah. I think I'm significantly in front of you. Yeah, you oh. you may well be. You yeah. may well be. Um, they're sort of uh, he's he's the 2022 UEFA Europa League final ambassador. It says here. Yeah, yeah that's so I'm right, guessing that's he's got to be one of the ones drawing the balls. Well, yeah. he's the one that brings the trophy out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's bringing it out now. So yeah, this feed is a little bit behind what you've got. Obviously, you're watching two, it. Two minutes in front. Yeah. So I'll quickly I'll, run I'll through. In... I quickly run through the final three Champions League groups. Who, yep, who absolutely. We've got three more: Group F: Villarreal, Man United, Atalanta, and. Young boys, um, it will probably be Villarreal that dropped sniggering out of that. at that name. I knew that was going to happen, <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. It will probably be Villarreal who drop out of that, and we know their history in the Europa League, so that won't be easy. Group G, Lille, Sevilla, Salzburg, and Wolfsburg. I'm gonna go for Sevilla to drop out of that group once again, a difficult ask for us. And Group H is Chelsea, Juventus, Zenit and Malmo. Um, so I'd expect Zenit to drop out of that. So once again, everyone, the teams who I think will come third are Leipzig, AC Milan, Ajax, Shakhtar, Benfica, Villarreal, Sevilla and Zenit. And, and they're, day, they're the worries, are aren't they? No, then, Gacy, you say that, but on, on our day... On our day, at our best, <clears throat> we can stand toe to toe. Oh, I'm I'm not saying we can I'm, I'm... We can stand toe to toe with the two teams that fought for the Champions League final last year in Chelsea and in City. We you know we we held out we more than held our own up at yeah, City yeah, last yeah. season. So, um, <clears throat> if I'm honest, even with the teams dropping out, I'm, I'm I'm still I'm still sitting here going, nah, bring them on, bring it, bring them on. Because at the end of the day, with us behind the fans at home, well, us us fans, sorry, behind the players at home. I completely agree with what Tom says there. We'll be lifting that soon. And why I, shouldn't I, we have that ambition? You know why what? I, I had my pick. I had my pick of the teams last night and I didn't realise I'd posted it on the uh, on the forged uh, <laughs> on the forged account. But I actually wanted um <clears throat> I actually want Lazio, Eintracht Frankfurt and Royal Antwerp from the three pots that mm. we could possibly get. They'd be the they'd be the teams I want. Um reason I want Lazio is obviously the Decanio, uh, the Decanio link there. Yeah. Quite a nice little uh, thing to do. Frankfurt, because obviously I've got um, German heritage. Um, so I'd like us to, to have a trip to Germany. Might manage to take my dad out there for a for a trip. Uh, maybe be able to take him to his hometown at some point. Yeah. Um, and then obviously it's, it's, the, it's what's left, isn't it? And Belgium, yeah. Belgium, Belgium seems like a good trip. So yeah, why, why do, not? Yeah. If know, they'd have so. been in the tournament, I'd have, I'd have. I know they're not in the tournament, but I'd, I'd have loved to. Have you ever seen the film called In Bruges? Yeah, I haven't. No. Ah, oh, mate, honestly, it's a, it's, it's a um, Ray Fiennes film. Um, Colin Farrell's in it as well. And, and when I watched it, and it's just sort of like it's set, obviously, as the name suggests, for the most part, it's Wouldn't set in Bruges. Um, <laughs> and I just thought it looked a really um, interesting place. You know, Bob there's Bruges. a lot of good art, architecture and decent beer by the looks of things. So I sort of thought, do you know what? I'd actually quite lo- like to go there. And I was I was keeping my fingers crossed that some way, somehow, we'd get in sort of like with Bruges at some point because I thought I'd quite like to go there but they're in the Champions League are they in the Champions League or the Conference League I don't are they know. I thought they were in the Europa League maybe I'm wrong I've not really looked but where is Genk because Genk's obviously in That's Belgium right? Belgium yeah That's yeah Belgium. but I'm not sure where I mean, I exactly to avoid, I want to avoid Galatasaray if I'm honest with you I don't I don't I don't envy any because that'd be that'd be if I'm honest to be one away trip that I wouldn't even bother going on. Um and I would What's the matter with you? I, would, um, I like living. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I quickly ask what point you two are at? Because I want to see if I'm up to that. I'm well, at um 
Uh, I've got Mark Senna. Senna looks up. Yeah, um, I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm there. Um, yeah, showing looks, the trophy now. Yeah, I think we're at the same. Yeah, point. and then it's back to him. He look, he looks yeah. very much like um, El Hajj Juf, but a better looking. Yeah, yeah. A pair of glasses. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think you're a bit behind here. Yeah, possibly. But... I think it's about two and a half, two, two and a half minutes. Well, I'll let you take the lead if you want. I mean, you you can tell. Yeah, ah, uh, yeah, Bruiser in the Champions League. Um, so if if Haroldinho is correct, if if they finish third in one of the group and we get through the group stages, we could play each other in the last. Yeah. Is it last but sixteen? I, but after I think, this, I think when I just looked at the groups just now, it was pretty much a massive <clears> ask for them to come <throat> third in their group. I can't remember what it was. Yeah. But, Actually, I say I say last sixteen. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, um, and I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to share my screen because this is quite interesting. What they've what they've done, UEFA. Hang on a minute. Oh, they're starting. <laughs> oh, oh, how excited are we? This is ridiculous. Yeah. So look look at this, right? Yeah. No round thirty two anymore. Yeah. So the group winners go straight to the round of sixteen, and the runners up go into like a, a knockout round playoff where they face the third place Champions League that team. interesting. I yeah. like that. I so if Bruges like... are in the Champions League and get knocked out in third place in the group and we go through as group runners-up in the Europa League, I might actually get my wish and play Bruges. That'd be nice. Yeah. It gives us an incentive to win the group though, doesn't it? Because yeah. you That's don't want yeah. But don't forget, I mean, you know, sort of like, and I don't want to sort of like tempt fate or anything like that. But um, don't forget that the third, even if we finish third in the group, yes, we're still in Europe. Yeah. We oh, might yeah. end up yeah, playing I mean, Tottenham. Oh, yeah, it's <coughs> tin pot, though. It's a bit tin pot. These yeah, 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 yeah. I'd love to have yeah. my name on that as the first team that won it, though. If that's yeah. what it comes to, I'd still, if we don't win this, I'd love oh, to yeah, have my we'll name on that it. for the first time. But I so want to win this one and get in the Champions League. The yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, Gacy, one step at a time, son. One step at a time. Right, let's, get a, right. let's get a draw first. <laughs> I know, this is this is sort of like in the, in the, in the future. I know <laughs> that. I, wanna, I know I that. Who do you, who do you think you are, Gacy? The owners? <laughs> uh, behave. Behave. Right, we're starting, lads. We're starting. Well, I've I've got some geezer just waffling away. Oh, so I'm you're ahead of me. This is so exciting. Have well, you, I'll let you guys take the lead. I've I've got it here. You got a picture on, on... of all the badges up there. Yeah, uh... yeah, yeah. yeah. Pot one. Go, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're ahead of me. Okay, I'll let you two take the lead so here, I boys. I want, I, I want Lazio, Frankfurt. You know, he does, Tom. Us, and, uh, I want. I thought it was uh, yeah. Ranieri as well. I, I looked want... at him and thought he was sort of yeah, like I a budget awesome Ranieri. Sorry, yeah. I want Braga. I want uh, Celtic, um, and I want. Uh, uh, um, Bromby, I'll go, I'll go with Royal Antwerp, Mittyland, <laughs> Winston Reed's old team. Yeah, yeah, come on. Hey, can I just point out? Can I just point out? And Gacy, you won't get there yet. Yep. How good does it look? How does it, it look? So good good, it look yeah. to see West Ham up there on that street? It's mental, would it, would it and especially say, when you, it's amazing. Yeah. When you consider that pre-lockdown, we were thinking that we we, we could be in the We'd shit in here the and we could be a championship. Now we're aiming for the Champions League. Mental. <laughs> the, the the job that David Moyes has done, absolutely. That's outstanding. Without, I mean, I'm, oh, I'm really doing, hoping. They're doing the conference draw here as well, I think. They do that at 12.45, I got it. Yeah. On, um... It's a bit shit, though. They're like Tottenham, we'll do you later. <laughs> I'll tell you what, can we just can we just crack on with picking the teams out of a pot and stop dicking around with trying to make this so difficult to follow. Did you not see the Champions League draw? I was sitting there going, why are they taking so long? They they do not like to draw it out. Oh, I just hope we last. I want so much build up. I just hope like I want to see I, I don't want to see West Ham come out of the pot. I want to see uh Tartan Simeone's massive bastards. On that yeah. sheet of paper that they unfold. That's what I want to see. Tartan Rag Simeone's raggedy ass stuff. rovers. Uh, no, but imagine how mate, it will be called seeing them at West Ham. Seriously, what are they talking about here? I can't even keep up. They're explaining the pots and that, I think. They're explaining how it I've works. never taken it. I've never taken it, but I can imagine this is what taking LSD looks like. Haroldinho, as you, you're saying as a neutral, um, quite interesting because, you know, obviously we're a West Ham fan youtube channel but you know come one come all it doesn't really bother me you know if we've got fan More in fact I, I i i welcome it you know if you've got some pals of yours let them know about the channel um what what football team do you support 
just just out of interest, just put it in the live chat. I'd, I'd just be quite interested. We won't take the Mickey out of you too much. Don't worry. Can I just Don't quote worry. Tom? Tom says it looks like some sort of game show. Hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to thinking, click it for you. All right, crack on then. I'm sitting here thinking it, it's it's got some sort of televised Connect Four game going on. They're going for I it. Have yeah. no what fucking is idea. going on? They've explained it. This is some sort of, some we don't sort need to see four dots go into I win. Four. Yeah, I win. that's I that's what I've got. <laughs> it's like just to yeah, see that. just draw them. Get it. <laughs> Ah, oh, you're a you're a city fan, Man Manchester City. I'm guessing I'm rather than Manchester rather city, than Bristol rather City. Than Bristol. But... Hey, Casey, come on. <laughs> we had the Great same boy. thought. We had Love the same it. thought. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing. Here we go. <laughs> Be tech tipping point. I love it, Tom. I love it. Yeah, it is a little bit. Here we go. Then. You, ben Shepherd's a West Ham fan, isn't he? He'd, he'd he be good is. at it. This is fixed. This is of course it is. Hot <laughs> balls, cold balls, you know how it works. And Haroldinho's just confirming, yeah, Man City. Man City. I'll um, tell you what. Are they going to get Ronaldo? In there, are they? Yeah, I think they are, Gatesy, to be honest with you. And Bangos is Man United legacy. Yeah, that. I wonder how that yeah. would... Yeah, I, I, I think that wouldn't sort of we go. very well with them, but there you go. Oh, come on. This looks... This does look dodgy, I must say. You can... Just pick a bloody ball... I've Open still it. got a load of load of discs on the screen. They're right. now showing it's me the Europa team, Championship trophy. Go on, and Alf, you take the home team. I'll take it away. Go oh, on. I'll take the next part. Whatever. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Do, we'll do one, but I'll do this one. Olympic Leon. Oh, I'll Leon, make up a banner. I'm going to make up a banner Your when team. when our group is complete. Right, Group A, Leon. Okay. Okay. I, I wouldn't mind them, actually, as I, I talked about them earlier. They're in a bit of... Okay, here comes They're the, the top second. ranked team, this aren't is, they? This is uh, yeah. this is Group B. Yeah. So yeah, I don't like the way they do. around with his balls. Monaco, Group B. Okay. I suppose this bit's a bit irrelevant, actually, because we know they're all going to be in different groups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, matter, it is a little bit. It's, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Love it, Tom. Love it. Yeah. Do, Tom, happy, don't go there. Good. Don't right. go there. Group C is the more... It is the brilliant. It's the incredible. It is Napoli. Hey! <laughs> Haroldinho <laughs> saying about Pep and Ronaldo. Both both personalities um, would clash. I agree. Be interesting. I, I think I think you've got a point. They're both big egos. But then again, I'm not being funny. Pep's probably managed big egos before, like Ibrahimovic. That turned out well, didn't it? Group D. <laughs> Group D, Olympiacos. Ooh. Oh, is it Mark the Jordan? Actually, he's not a mug. He doesn't deserve that label. <laughs> what, the two players? Yeah. Whoever well, the, the, you've got Mark um, Andres Pelop, who used to be a goalkeeper for Sevilla, and Marcos Senna, who's a former Spain international. I can't out. even remember what group we're on now, but it's like... So hey. Group A. So one of us is paying attention. <laughs> Clayton's in the house. Morning, Clayton. Welcome, Clayton. How are you, mate? Tell oh, your friends. One group he, at a time. I here comes. I oh, know it's just just it's painful, annoying, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. They right, like to string it out. F Braga. That's the oh, group I want to go in. Yeah, group please, F. Let, please let please let us go in Group F. Please, let's Come do on. it. Right. Where about is Braga G. anywhere near the, the Portuguese coast? That'd be quite nice. Group G is... Holiday gates, so behave yourself. Knowing Group... my luck, it's probably right in the Midlands. <laughs> probably in Group some G industrial heartland. I think that would be a tricky one, actually. That would be, yeah. Mm. They're a good side label. We want to finish top of the you are a gentleman and a scholar. In fact, if you want to, if you want to share this particular stream so or any of the streams group. on your... Social media platform, feel free. Dynamo. Ah. Dynamo Zagreb, is it? Dynamo, what, Dynamo, what is that? Yeah, Dynamo Zagreb. G GNK, that'll do you. <laughs> That's all GNK. I got. Oh, I know. Is that the team that knocked out Tottenham last year? Any what, Zagreb? Could, isn't any, it? Any yeah. team could have knocked out yeah. Tottenham. See, I, I'm on the bit. I'm I'm quite a bit behind you. I've got the um, Palop just pulling out by a Leverkusen. And he's just... So, Gacy, you'll have to remind us who was in the groups. So, yeah. as we do this, you can tell us who they're playing when we put them in, if we don't remember, because 
He's right, we're starting. Bro. Here Do comes El start? Hodge. Do you start? You start. I'll start. All right then. Thanks. Cheers, mate. Well, I'm only going. To, I'm only interested in our group. I'm not going to do all all of them. I, let's just. I'm just concentrating on West Ham's group. That'll okay, do me. First out of the pot then is Rangers. Rangers. Who's group are they in then? I yeah, was. Uh, that was Leon. God. Oh. Rangers and Leon. That's that is. Wow. Oh. Wow. 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 This is getting exciting. <laughs> I don't. I don't want Group A. I'll say that right now. I do not oh, I want know. Group A. I would have. Uh, Leon. Group B. Mm. Group B is the one, the only. Unscrew, unscrew. Tom's just asked a good question. No Who's clue. representing the club? PSV. Oh, who was that then? That's. Is that Lazio? No, that's no. It's Monaco. Oh, Monica, oh, dear God. don't put us in that. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, no, we'll be in the conference before that even kicks off. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Here we go, dude. Andy, you've missed nothing, mate. Don't worry. Okay, we're up. Unscrew, unscrew. Blame it's a bit before. long-winded, Milesy. Yeah, we knew that. Painful this is. It could be done in five Let's minutes. Start. Let's lot. start. Oh, can we not Ooh. be in Leicester's group? We no, can't. we can't. No. So we can't be in so this we know group. That how will they manage that? What that's they... Napoli. How does that happen? Oh, that's good. That well, they might have to. Group. We're not in Napoli's group. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Napoli, I'm happy Leicester. with that. If you know, that would have been hard. Napoli, Leicester, Eindhoven, and what was it? Monaco, wasn't it? Screw that. Right, who we got now? Right. Locomotive Moscow in Group Ooh. C. Want any polonium 210 with that? So, who are no, they? No, they're group E. They're group E. Oh, group E. Lazio. Yeah. Oh. No, yeah, yeah. Napoli oh. and Leicester are the only ones. Oh, that group. could be interesting. Oh. Yeah. I've lost right. where we are. I think it's you, West Ham. Go on. Yeah, it I is. Don't know, I don't know anymore. It is. Um, mm. I'm trapped. Oh. I don't know who's who group they're in. Who's, who is in their group? I can't even work it out. Oh, Olympiacos. I'll take that. I'll, I'll take, take that so that far. Group D, yeah. That, that group with Leicester and Napoli is going to be the group of death. You don't want to flip them in that one. That's your Champions League group for you. Yeah, so I'm I'm on the bit where Mo, Lo, Locomotive Moscow have literally just been drawn out. So yeah, you're, oh, you're quite a bit ahead of me. All right, here we go. Playing with his balls. Marcus Senna's just drawing out. A ball. Who? Oh, that's um, is that Spartak Moscow? No, no, no. no, no. no oh, uh, no, it's Red Star Belgrade. Red Star Belgrade, and yeah. they're in with who are they in with now? Uh, and Braga. I'll, I'll yeah, what, I'll, I'll, that. I'll, I'll have that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind that. I'll have that one. Thanks, Portugal. One right. Yeah, I will be happy there. And a former European Cup winner. Mm. I'll take that. That wouldn't yeah, be but bad. They're, they're fallen giants. Yeah, they? yeah, yeah. They're not the team they were back in 1991. Go on then. Celtic. Selwick. They're in Group F. Um, mm. You said Group F. You said Group F. You, you yeah. said that in the first bit, didn't you? Who's that? By uh, uh, oh. Yeah, not, that, that would be a tough one. It's not that bad. That, I'll deal with it. And then I still think that the Scottish teams, when they've got an English team in front of them, are going to find a gear one? or do extra. What was that one? Was it E or G? The one which had um, Red Star and e. uh, yeah, we want that Genk. Genk, last one out, and they've got. Oh, is this group F? <laughs> I'm, I'm I think you're right, Haroldinho. An empty chair. Hey, apparently. Yeah, put us in that. I'll take that. <laughs> 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 as long as it doesn't have Galatasaray afterwards. Yeah, Fenerbahce are in there. Oh, but they're turn. in the same pot as us, aren't they? It's our turn, lads. Ferris, Ferris Varosh are in there as well, aren't they? I don't. Area. Someone's gonna have to explain that to me. So, what if they draw us? In we'll find out, mate. Listen, surely... we'll find out. Find out. We've not often been in European draws. To be fair, West Ham online. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Don't our get our experience is quite that. limited. Look at, that. Look at that. That looks lovely up there, doesn't it? That yeah. looks lovely up there. What the trophy? West, no, West Ham up there in that. In we that should part. have been in this before, Crazy. shouldn't we? We're losing we to Astra Goo Goo. Here we You're, go. I'll oh. do this. I'll, do, I'll go first. On you this go one. first then, Sangob. It is. Obviously, we can't be in this group because it has Leicester in it. 
So no, I don't that's know how it's... B, I think. Olympic DMR. Hang Marseille. on. No, they can't be in that because of Leon. No. Yeah, can't so what's going to happen? Right here. Well, I think you're about to Marseille find out. Marseille will get put in Group B, apparently. Oh, there you go, go then. So they're in E. Yeah, that's odd. Don't put us in that. Oh, we can't. Never mind. So okay. Marseille have gone into Group E. Group E, yeah. Marseille. Okay, I feel so we've we're not in that the group. two tough groups. I'll be honest. I think we've we go. Uh, is it Sparta Prague going to Group A with uh, Leon and Le Leverkusen? No, no, uh, that uh, crap team. Oh, Rangers. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't think it's Rangers. Okay, right, so that's we right. We've avoided that. That's good. Here we it go. Is. Yeah. You're it up. Is. Come on. Real Sociedad. Sociedad the football. They go into B then because there's no Spanish side in that. Oh, flipping hell. This is hard. Come on. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Oh, oh, that's, our, that's our group. Oh, we've done well there. <laughs> right. Who is it? Pick off. Come on. Then. Just get come on. Got to be West getting down. close. Go. Come on. West Ham. Come close. on. Come on, give me what I want. Give me what I want. The Cockney boys. It is. Come on. Spars, 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 Moscow. 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 Oh. Just put them in by Lady Cues and the Celtics group, please. It's like waiting to sort of like have your no, first they've ball. Gone in, uh, they've gone into the other group because the next group can't have a Russian side in it. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> what? What? They've avoided with that's, that, uh, Spartak Moscow room with um, Leicester and Napoli. Leicester and Napoli. Oh, interesting. Game. Crap. What group are we going to be in? <laughs> We're at the what tail end, mate. We're going to be at the tail end. So they're in We're F. in Celtic's group here. I'll warn you. I think we're going to be. I'm going to say. Aldinho uh, saying, do you fancy your trip to Russia? He is. This is it. Come on. I don't know. We're all over the place here, Duke. It's... I'm a mess, mate, at the minute. I ain't going to lie to you. I think that's us. That's... No, do the <laughs> Ah, oh, come on. Just pull us out for Christ's sake. Get on with it. Oh, Jesus. What I don't need this shit in? in my life. Right, oh, there in there. Oh, that was the one I wanted. Shiza. We're going to be ah. in Celtic's group. We are. We are. There we go. We're going to be in Celtic's group, you reckon? This has got to be yeah. us. Yeah. Is this us? This is. Not us. No, is. Oh, my God. What group are we in? Where, where, where are we, for Christ's sake? They forgot to put us in. What's going on? Oh, shit. Oh, they're in Celtic's group. Oh, Who no. That's Monaco. No, we've it's... not got Monaco. Oh, f... We've not got really? Monaco. Don't worry about that. No. They've well, this is obvious. So, this is West Ham United. If yeah, it ain't, there's something gone wrong. Yeah, they've yeah, forgotten. Simeone's massive bastards. There it is. Tartan, Diego, Simeone. Right. Oh, We're my God. In... It's a shit group. Get in. Get, Get in. Get in. <laughs> What we got? What we got? We've got group. Uh, Dynamo and Genk. What group is it? H. H. Group Get H. In. Ah. <laughs> Get in. Genk and Champion is champion is champion is champion. And Genk. Dynamo oh, and Genk. We won that. That's great. We that was what we called after the second round. Zagreb obviously beat Tottenham last year for anyone watching, so we, mm. that's not a pushover. But that, to be honest, it was more because Tottenham had the finishing ability of a dead duck. Yeah, Tom, I agree with you there, mate. Um, definitely, definitely happy with that. Pop um, four. Aradinho, definitely worth the wait. Yeah, happy with this. That was brilliant, wasn't it, Duke? That's, I'll tell you what, mate, if you could have handpicked like, the easier... Yeah, that and let's be fair. And let's be fair. These and these, these teams are no pushovers, but yeah. no. you should expect to get something out of this out of this pot, whatever you get. Really, Galatasaray on in our group. Who are the best ones there? They're in group they're the best team Oh like my that. god, this group. Leicester have been done over here. Oh no, have no, well, no. Normally it's us because of the other way round. So that's no. Lazio. That's a tough group as well. Lazio, Marseille, Lazio, Marseille, Marseille and Galatasaray. Oh, in the group. Shit, that ain't bad. Yeah, I agree with you, Tom. I'll take Sturm Graz at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want? Who well, do we want? Bromby. Brom Bromby. We'll take because they're the, they're the bottom ranked really, team in that pot. I don't care now. I, I like Galatasaray. bacon. <clears throat> yeah, the rest of them aren't that great. Just take anyone. Take Bromby. Take, take, take Bromby. the low Bromby. the lowest ranked one. Bromby. Who's group A in? I can't work it out at this point. They're in... Uh, right, they're in A. A with Leon. You might have Rangers. a point. Yeah. 
so honestly, lads, mm. we've got so lucky here. I'd say we're in the we second have easiest group. Massively, if not mate. the easiest. Give me a lucky it's general over a good West general Ham. any day. Golly, but gotta be enough West Ham fans out there that are happy with this. this yeah, draw can't be annoyed, I'm surely. not compared to what we could have had. God, I'm over the moon with this draw so far. Well, Genk are the, are the second Grand bottom guys. ranked. Stam Graz. I think they're in Group B. I think. Yeah, they're in B. So well, that's Monaco. Sociedad, PSV. Bloody hell, that, that group is well odd. Oh my yeah, then, God, they can't be the, you can tell he ain't happy, look, because I fucking wouldn't be. I'm <laughs> 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 in his shoes. Uh, Haroldinho, oh. I'm happy. I'm happy. Where, yeah, who was, who is massive. it in group, who is it in pot A that we got in our group then? Or, is that Zagreb? Or Genk? Yeah, it would have been, mate, yeah. No, no Zagreb. uh, Zagreb's, uh, yeah, Zagreb was pot A. Who, and where Genk were they ranked then in, in that? Mitchell and well, well, Genk was second bottom in their pot. Oh, my God. Group Zagreb F. were fourth. That's oh, not us. Oh, That's Ludogretz, Red Star and Braga. We're so, getting oh Bronby. God, I'll take that all no, day Bromby long. No, Bronby have already gone. Oh, are they done? Oh. Yeah. Unfortunately. I was looking forward to going and checking out some homemade bacon. You know, the home of bacon. <laughs> I'm That's not, gone. I'm not too fussed with it is at this I'd point. I can't like remember. Antwerp, to be honest with you. So who's left Leisure in? Warsaw. Leisure Warsaw. Alan off Twitter wanted these guys in our group, and well, we can't have group. we can't have Antwerp. Antwerp haven't been. Oh no, we yet, can't. Have they? Genk because we got because oh, Genk are in there, so we can't have Antwerp. Oh, Genk, I want to go to that one. Ferris, Belgium Ferris, away. That Ferris, Ferris, Ferris Faros. I'll take that. Hungarian. Yes, right. not good, Haroldinho. Not good. Yeah. Although obviously, you Let's know, we can't say too, too much. much. Right yeah, you know, it's, avoid uh, that yeah, exactly, exactly that. So we'll see. And you only have to look at things like the uh, Antwerp here, Belgium, Shay. Uh, no, yeah, was it Shay, uh, Shay, Shay Adams, Shay, Shay Evans, whatever his fucking name mm. was? Yeah. yeah, well, so we'll say Olympiacos, Frankfurt, Fenerbahce, and Antwerp. That's not a bad yeah, That's okay. Uh, some good, interesting games in it. <laughs> We've Come got on. one. I'm not one more lie. team. I, I, we really have been done nicely here. Yeah, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I was you know. moaning about the Carabao Cup draw, so I can't... Com- I'd have preferred I Braga than... Uh, hopefully they come down to us. Hopefully they come down to us. <clears throat> no, they're not in us. <laughs> no, they're in D. So what does I that leave know. us then? I don't know. Let's just see. By Leverkusen, Celtic, Real Betis, and that guy who's for you, man. Uh, he should be. <laughs> this is our team then. Come on. Come on. It is... I can't Is remember it? who was left. I can't either. We got Rapid Vienna, Galatasaray, Legia Warsaw, Michelin. Rapid, Rapid Vienna. Vienna. For we got Rapid Vienna. Yeah. We've got Rapid Vienna. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'll tell you what, boys. Is that good? Couldn't have unpicked, yeah. I'll tell you what, you couldn't have unpicked a better group. Let's be fair. If yeah. you were to look for what... I know, listen, I, and, and people in the chat can jump in and, and have comments. Um, if you were looking for an easier route... I don't think there were many easier routes to the next round other than what we have just drawn. <clears throat> what is our route then? So, uh, Zagreb, Genk, and Rapid Vienna. Take that. Take that. And just to look, have they sort of gone into... Because it says here... Uh, oh, hang on. The full fixture list for the group stage will be communicated on Friday evening. Yeah, so, so we're not going to find out until because it says here after taking into account the calendars of participating clubs and stakeholders. Yeah. Now the match, in case anybody watching isn't sure, the match dates are match day one is the sixteenth of September, match day two is the thirtieth of September, match day three is the twenty-first of October, match day four is the fourth of November, match day five is the twenty-fifth of November, and match day six is the ninth of December. So I'm looking at that, boys, and I'm thinking, um, obviously, there's going to be our past six and eight o'clock games, or six o'clock and eight o'clock games on a Thursday, yeah. aren't there? Um, so to, to be honest with you, I don't, I don't think it matters as to, it, it just depends on, obviously, we, our, our fixture list now will be completely rewritten. Yeah. Um, now that draw has been done, our fixture list will now be completely rewritten. We should win that um, group. We we should come yeah, out that's... on that. 
I don't mean to be rude. If we don't come out of that with uh, with six wins, I'll be pissed off. <laughs> wow. I will. Don't want much. <laughs> no, but listen, if, if we don't, in theory... In going theory, to Zagreb's not going to be easy. Going to Zagreb will not be easy. That will be a hostile atmosphere. Yeah, it will. But uh, listen, we, we could revel in that. And I'm not being funny. We'll, we ta we'll take And we'll take fans abroad, Gacy. Oh, yeah. We'll, ta we'll take enough out there that will make more noise than most other clubs. Yeah. You only got to look at um, St James's Park on the opening day. <clears throat> you boys made more noise than, the, than, than than all the home fans. So yeah. <clears throat> Just looking here, it says, um, "How does the group stage work? Teams in each group will face each other home and away, with the same sides meeting on match days one and five, or match yeah. days two and six, or match days three and four. So, but." I don't just know. Got to wait now until tonight to yeah, find out. Yeah, it will be ironed out tonight as you know who we're if playing. The day goes on, will it? Yeah, yeah. I I'm don't know. Are they that. televising that particular bit, or do they literally just come out with an announcement? They'll just to... come out with an announcement as to when the games are going to be played. Yeah, but I'm happy with that. So, what are they doing at the minute? Because as I say, I'm I'm quite yeah, a bit but... behind you. I've just got thanks for watching. It's Drew McIntyre just dead butting the camera apparently for WWE. Oh, okay. But um, now, they, yeah, a big guy, not the adverts. <clears throat> right, guys, I'm going to have to shoot off because uh, I've just had a load of people walking to the pub for food and drink. So I'm going to fly and get back to work. Um, I will speak to you all uh, over the course of the day in the chat. But you're happy. I'm um, over the moon, mate. I couldn't be happier. That was a, that's a banging, banging draw for us. I think um, what actually works for us in our favour as well is um, some of the harder teams are going to be facing each other in their groups as well. You know, so... Um, You'll have you'll have some either finish second and end up in the playoffs. You'll have some that drop out in third and go down to the conference. Um, so no, listen, I'm I'm happy with that. That's a that's a very very good draw for us. Not just our own group, but the other groups work out to be quite a bonus for us as well. So people are I'll saying, be happy. "Don't mate, Genk." What was that? Sorry, mate. People on here are saying, "Don't underestimate Genk." Well, they've got the striker that we were linked with, haven't they? That Paul Onoachu. He yeah, looks he yeah. looks a bit dangerous, to be fair. Yeah, but we we got we got hopefully got Kurzuma by the end of today. So, mm. we'll, you know, I, th I think, um, and I think I think you might see another uh, might see another couple of incomings because I think um, the board are going to have seen that draw and <clears throat> are going to look at it one or two ways. They're either going to be happy um, because we've got a relatively easy draw through the next round, or they're going to be pissed off because they know they're going to have to spend more money um, and more money on travelling, because we're obviously going through the groups. So mm. they won't be... You know, it's one or two ways. They'll spend more money because they're happy or they won't. So we'll have to wait and see. But I yeah. will catch you both a bit later, <coughs> and I'll, I'll talk to you both in the WhatsApp chat as we go. All right, mate. Look after yourself, yeah? yeah. Take it easy. See you soon. Where's the out button? <laughs> well, <laughs> he's been doing this long enough. So West Ham chaos. Online, I mean, you know... Obviously, like I say, the, as we discussed earlier, the group winners go straight to the round of 16, whereas the runners-up go into a playoff where they'll face the teams that are dropping out of the Champions League, you know, the teams that finish third in the group stage. Um, so really, we're going to have to try and go all out to, to win the group. I mean, do you think, looking at what we've got there, home and away, Zagreb, Genk, Rapid Vienna, doable? We should win that group, but it's six games at the end of the day, so anything can happen. Is it's not certainly not certain to you know. I actually think Genk aren't as bad as some people might think, um, especially when you just mentioned Paul and Arachu. Um Rapid Vienna, I'll be honest, is a game we should be winning home and away. And mm. Zagreb, well, I'd expect us to beat them at home, but then again, away, you've got to remember they did beat Tottenham three 0 so mm. it's not going to be a pushover, but I feel like we should win. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think we should, like I say, I just think if, if we're in something, we should be aiming, like I say, we should aim to win all six games. That, yeah. you know, I know that, that realistically that's probably not going to happen, but I think that should always be the aim. Win every single game and, you know, see where it takes you. Um, but for me, I, sorry again? Quickly, I'm going to make a prediction. I think we'll win three, mm -hmm. draw one and lose two. Well, I'm guessing that the three that you're going to win are two of them against Rapid Vienna. You've just said that. Yeah. So who's the where's the other win coming from, in your opinion? 
I think we'll be. I think we'll be um, Genk at London Stadium. Yeah. No, actually, no, no, I can't. no. Sorry, I think we'll win four, draw one, and lose one. Okay, go on. Uh, the two against Rapid, uh, Rapid yep. Vienna, and then home against um, mm-hmm. both the other sides. Okay, and then get a, a point away against. Point away against Genk. No, a point away against Zagreb, and then I think we'll lose two ones again. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Which should top well, us through. Well, all will be revealed, as I say. The um, It'll all be announced tonight. Um, UEFA will announce it tonight. Um, they're going to take into account all of the calendars of the participating clubs and the stakeholders. Um, but just to go through it again, ladies and gentlemen, in case you missed it, match day one is the 16th of September. Match day two is the 30th of September. Match day three is the 21st of October. Match day four is the 4th of November. Match day five is the 25th of November. And match day six, the 9th of December. And group winners progress to the round of 16. And the runners-up will play in a new knockout round playoff where they will face the third place UEFA Champions League teams for places in the round of 16. And any team, as I say, that finishes third in the group stage, then drop down into the Euro- Europa Lidl, I mean, Conference League. Yeah. So we'll play, I, th- I should suspect we'll get at least six European, no, at least eight European games because there's no way we're finishing bottom of the group. If if we finish bottom of that group, I think something's gone drastically wrong in, <laughs> yeah. in all honesty. But there but, you go. Yeah. What um what else was I gonna say? <clears throat> oh, if you lose the playoff against the third Champions League group, do you get completely omitted from Europe or do you drop into the it, conference? It does not say on what I'm reading here on the UEFA website that you then go through into the conference league. It just says that the third place side in the group goes to the conference league. It doesn't say anything about the, the beaten team in the knockout round playoff. I think that you know, reading between the lines, I think that if they get beat by the UEFA champions league, third place team, then you, you're gone. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... so whether that's, I mean, this is, to be honest with you, it's, it's something that always is a bit of a bone of contention in this household. Um, you know, you, you've you've failed in one competition. Why should you be parachuted into the other? Um, but we all know the reason why. It's because of money. It's the usual yeah. thing, you know. So. God, Kent Irons has just tweeted, horrible effing draw, tough, tough draw, despite what idiots think. Shut up, Kent. No, Shut listen, up, it's, Kent. It's, it's his opinion. Oh, it's his opinion. Awful opinion. Awful. Mm, well, I think, I mean, to be fair, I mean, Genk... Like I say, they were the second bottom ranked team in their pot. I mean, Zagreb, I mean, like I say, if you if you go purely on coefficients, then the best group we could have had would have been Braga, PSV Eindhoven, Sparta and uh, Bromby. Yeah? yeah, that would have been the best group on the basis of, of coefficients. Um, the, the, the doomsday scenario in according to coefficients would have been Leon, Celtic and Rapid Vienna. Now, Okay, we got Rapid Vienna. So as far as they're concerned, that's probably the worst team, I don't you know, know, from pop yeah, but four. But it's an opinion, I guess. You know, honest. coefficients and this, that, yeah. and the other. It's like as I you told you earlier, Gates, that coefficients, as we know, is a lot based on how much you've been in Europe. I'm hmm. sorry, I'm not having anyone tell me that Rapid Vienna are better than Galatasaray. But no. I certainly think that the away. Support. I'm not being funny, and this is—I I don't mean to be disrespectful to Rapid Vienna's supporter base, but yeah. you know, you sort of—you don't look at their supporters and think, "Shit, that will be a hostile atmosphere. That will be, you know, fireworks going off, flares going off." I mean, for Christ's yeah. sakes! I mean, you know, Galatasaray fans. I mean, I've heard stories about they'll go to they'll, the ground will be full, like two, three, four hours before a kickoff, and they're literally just cranking up the atmosphere. Just you know. And I remember when Manchester United went there in, in the mid nineties and it was, I'm watching it. And it's like the first time I'd really seen a Turkish team at home in a European tie. And it was just like, what is going on? It's, yeah. It was completely ridiculous. And I think, I think I remember that after the game finished and I think if I, I think if I remember rightly, they played the first leg at Old Trafford, they were three nil up 
and Galatasaray came roaring back and it finished 3-3. They then went back to Istanbul and yeah. it finished nil-nil. So they went out on the away goals rule. Mm-hmm. And I think I remember reading something. Apparently, the um, the Turkish police gave Cantona and his, his mates a bit of a working over as they were going down the tunnel. So, <laughs> you know, even, even the police were a little bit heavy handed. Um, let um, Chris, um, I'm happy with the group. It could have been better. It could have been worse. Listen, we'll take it. We'll take it. Um, yeah. Your, your group... Your group's a nightmare, but you'll you'll get at least second, at least. So there's a lot you'll have a brilliant I really to be honest, if we came second, I'd look so much I'd really look forward to that Champions League playoff game, to be honest, Chris, because that will be brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there we go. So that's the group. We're in group H with Dinamo Zagreb, Genk, and Rapid Vienna. I it, oh Chris is saying he's kind of okay with his. Mm, okay. <laughs> It's well, not too bad. Like, it's not the end of the world, but it certainly wouldn't have, I wouldn't have uh, been happy with it. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we're going to end it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, Group H, Dinamo Zagreb of Croatia, Genk of Belgium, Rapid Vienna of Austria are in with ourselves. Um, for me, I think that is a group that we could conceivably win. Um, or at or at worst, get through as, as runner-up and play the team that drops in from the Champions League. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. But um, West Ham Online, thank you for joining me. Much appreciate your time as always. Thank you. I really enjoyed it. I can't wait. Even if we play that Champions League playoff game, I think that would be amazing. And don't forget, guys, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified of any new content as and when we upload it to the channel. And don't forget, guys, that if any of you can see fit to either putting this on your social media platform, and it is in the description below on YouTube and Facebook, put it on your social media platform. Young Isla Caton needs our help. Um, if you can put any money in the pot, you've got the Just Giving link there. But at the very least, if we can just ask you a copy and paste it, put it on your social media platform with a little note as to what it's all about, that there's a six-year-old girl that's fighting for her life that needs treatment that is not available in this country and the clock is ticking and the odds are getting stacked ever more against her as the days go past. So, you know, she needs this like five minutes ago. And uh, thank you very much, as always, for listening. So... I'm going to wrap it up there. Before I do, I'm just going to, there's a comment coming from Darren, um, a regular on the channel. Felt strange watching the draw. I'm well pleased as we have a favourable group. Yeah, I, as I say, yeah. it's not something we're, we're used to, Darren, is it? Um, you don't often qualify for Europe. And when we last did qualify for Europe, we didn't get to the group stage. So this wasn't something we experienced. <laughs> so um, West Ham Online was asking, well, what if a ball comes out and it clashes with, you know, because you can't have two teams from the same country. And it was like, listen, I don't know. I've, I've you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I've got much experience to fall back on, in yeah. all honesty. But what uh, I will say quickly, Gates, is what, what you just mentioned. If we can lose, obviously we're better now, but if we can lose in Europe to Astra, Gugu, who are, yeah. let's be honest, crap, um, we could lose any of these games. So let's we not could. underestimate them too much. Like, everyone's could. saying it's easy, and I what they mean, but... Not yeah. easy, no. I mean, you know, when when the refere- referee's whistle blows for the for the start of the match, you know, they'll want to beat us. Make no mistake about that. You know, yeah. it's not easy. But, you know, compared to what we could have had, you know what, I'll take it. I'll yeah, take compared it. to what that negative mug that Andy sent to the chat, what he was saying. Well, like I say, everyone's got their own opinions. Doesn't mean I'm right. Doesn't mean they're wrong. So, you know, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to end it there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget, um, we've got our pre-match at six o'clock tonight. So please join us for that. Um, enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. And I'm going to finish my usual. Come on, you irons. Stay safe, guys.